Alrighty folks, welcome back to another Molson Michigan Beer Review. It's uh, New Year's Day. Welcome 2016. I don't really uh, buy into that whole New Year's resolution stuff. Uh, I feel like every day we should be uh, bettering ourselves somehow, not just thinking about it, you know, at this time of year. We should be thinking about it every day of the year and uh, just working on ourselves some. I guess if I had to choose a resolution, um, it would be to uh, get a job in the craft beer industry somehow, some way. So we'll see if that comes to fruition or not. So what are we reviewing today? Sorry for the rant, you know, gotta do it every now and then. Today we are reviewing Mint Stout by Black Rocks. So. Let's take a quick look and see where Black Rocks is located, up in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. That's where Black Rocks is located in the UP. So um, let's take a quick look at this can. How about that? Sounds good? Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. There we go. Black rocks. We have a pine tree there and uh, mint stout. It's their holiday release. There's a little bit of mint inside the O there. Uh, very Christmas-like. And yeah, Christmas is over and I still got the tree up, but whatever. And the background is uh, some nice plaid green wrapping paper, I assume. What else we have on here? We've read that before. You can pause it and read it if you'd like, or you can read it on their website. But I will read this. Oh, there's more mint leaves right there. This foreign extra stout is brewed with fresh mint leaves, adding a subtle hint on top of the roasted malts. In case the department store music wasn't enough to get you in the holiday spirit, here's hoping you unwrap one this season. And it is 6% alcohol by volume. Stout group with mint leaves. Anything else on there? Nah? Nah? Alrighty. So there we have it, my beer friends. Minced out. Let's try it out. And if you've seen some of my episodes, you know that I like mint stouts. Mocha Mint. Mm. Odd size Java Mint. Haven't reviewed it, but I like that one too. A little thin, but still good. So how is this going to compare? Let's find out. Alright, so we have a nice two finger head there. The foam is tan, cocoa colored, I guess you could say. Uh, the stout is black, very black in appearance. Small hint of mint, it's not very strong like the other mint beers. So it's a tiny, tiny hint. All right, well, let's sip it. Here we go. Okay. The mint is coming through there nicely. That's the first thing I taste is mint. It's um, very herbal <clears throat> in flavor, which I like. I don't like that synthetic stuff. So that's good. Mmm. Yeah. And there's definitely uh, rich and roasty malts in there. It's mint followed by a little bit of roasted malt. Um, kind of chocolatey. Not as much. I find that uh, foreign export stouts are less chocolatey than our uh, milk stouts and other types. It's 
pretty good. I'm getting more, more hints of chocolate, or more hints of mint, sorry, in the nose. Now, oh, there's that sexy lacing. Remember that? Oh, God, I love that. Each sip leaves a little lacing. It's beautiful. It's not very complex. The spirit's not complex. It's um, well done. It uh, does what it intends to do, to be a mint stout. And that's exactly what we have here. So I'm going to rate uh, Mint Stout by Black Rats. Not much to say about it. Um, good flavor. I like it. Um, I would drink it again for sure. I'm going to rate Mint Stout Holiday Release by Black Rocks. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. That's above average. It's almost a 4. Quite good, quite good. I like my Mint Stouts, like I said. So, um, if you can find it, please do, and please try it, and please let me know what you think about it. I'm curious what you think. I know we all have different opinions, and I appreciate that. It's awesome. So, till next time, cheers! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.